Hey Mo, we need to get an intro down for this channel, you know. Yeah, but what are you thinking, Lee? Why don't I rap over the top of it? Don't be ridiculous, you sound like a northern m and Look, listen to me. Yo, yo, yo. The munch brunch in the hoose, man. Absolutely not. Right, what you got in mind? Let's just keep it simple. I'm Lee. I'm A. They wear the munch brunch. Hi everyone and welcome back to another cook bang with Aim and Lee. We're doing something a little bit different here guys today, but first of all, we are the Munch Bunch UK. Lee, what are we doing? You're all on the shop for that intro, <laughs> A bit better, a bit jazzy. Yeah, it's really welcome back up. to another mukbang with the mukbang. Ah, it's cook it? bang. Oh, it's well. a cook bang, it's not a mukbang. I hope they heard that right, cook and not something else. Yes guys, it is Aim, it is Lee. I'm pleased I've told you if you can. Can you do that a little? I, I need no. a bit of space. Okay, we can't do that. We're making New York Deli pastrami sandwiches. Homemade, obviously, we're making them ourselves. This is from Asda. As you can see, I think your guys over there is Walmart. This is also from Asda. Well, that depends if they're in Fleetwood in the UK. It's Which Asda. Which cheese bring it? Oh, you bought that I one? I've got the Eda. Because yeah. we've got another one out. I know, but I forgot to pick that one up. All right, so it's, uh, it's not exactly American because, let's face it, we're, just, UK. we're changing up a bit. I mean, he's brought in a bowl of bloody gravy well, here, guys. Well, it's going to be a proper one. I've read a, a recipe. A I have got this. There's a bloke online, guys, he's got a website, him and his missus, she's got a proper cooking website, and he has also, well, he joins in, and he's got a sandwich section, so I want to read how to make and whatnot, and so I'm going to, if I remember, I'll put his link in the description or whatever, uh, and this recipe is from his, Ames one mix it up, adding loads of extra stuff, not me, I'm doing what he says, apart from well, the Well, didn't he sound like sour crap and everything? No, no, not this one, he just said, pastrami and cheese inside and your bread. he's American. Yeah, he's an American bloke, he said wrap it in foil, because he works in a sandwich shop in America, and that's what you do. What you can hear right now, guys, is a fan and a grill. We're all over the shop today. Yeah. But Amy's adding different things to hers because she likes to be experimental. Mine will be a traditional New York Deli pastrami sandwich. We'll but see as what a cheese goes. grill, because we're not making it for, because we have, it's, it's going to take too long for that sound. Yeah. Without further ado. Without further ado, do's. Let's get started. Okay, so we'll Are you move, all been, guys? We'll move the pastrami. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is actually the best bread ever, guys. This is like... This is my worst nightmare. Super toast. This is huge bread. <laughs> and it's from the reduced section. We bought it yesterday, guys. 83p from like £1.5. What a... A bargain of 22p difference. I mean, you guys... It's not as thick as it used to be, you know. This used to be oh. a lot thicker. It used to be a lot thicker than this. Okay. It used to be like some doorstop bread that you could get. I that's think you really still can. Thick. You got it the other week. Yeah, that's what I thought this was. This well, is that's just... That's a medium toaster. It's really frustrating. Well, I can't okay. do it all by. I might have so to stick an extra slice of bread now. You've got your knife. I have a knife. I also have a wife. I don't know which one's sharper sometimes. Me. Yeah. So, like a normal cheese grill. I'm going to butter it up. Butter both sides of your bread. Yeah, I'm not going to show you inside the butter, guys. This has been used over the last couple of days. So it's a bit of a mush because the heat has been so bad here. You've got to get right to the corners. Oh, I know that. I'm used to making uh, grills and stuff, like sandwich toasters. Anyways. Me and Amo was talking and talking, talking this morning. Talking. Like, talking about our childhoods and stuff. And. What's that? Oh, yeah, take bread if you want. And we, I was saying to Aim, I don't know if you lot are the same, but I remember little bits of when I was a kid, because I am like 35 now. But I vaguely remember when it used to pee down, because I don't like the crap weather that we, we can't wait for. Is it just me, or do all most people in the UK get excited for the bad weather? Yeah. It gets too hot. Right? I think people in the UK are very fickle with, well, my family is around and here, like my friends. I love it when it's hot, but it's too hot. Yeah, you've done nothing I hate it when complain. it's cold. I've gone off the, the heat a little bit This recently. is Aim, guys, who we have a WhatsApp group for some people who've, on our channel. People who are coming to meet us in Birmingham in September. And all the women in this group, I did a little bit, but not as much as the women. We're just going on all the time about how hot it was. It's too warm, it's too warm. I said, yeah, but wait till it gets cold. And then I bet everyone's tune changes. But I actually like the cold weather. Yeah, I like, I'm more winter. I like scarves, I like jumpers and like off the shoulder jumpers. I just like the of idea of getting the, getting the heat, you know. Get out with an open fire, but we ain't got one, unfortunately. Something we need to get down the line. But it brought me to when I was a kid anyway, guys, and I remember being, remember in your pram? And having covers over the top when it's peeing See, I down. I can't remember that at all. Do you not remember? Do you never have a cover on yours? You almost like you get yeah, wet. Yeah, but I don't personally remember being. I remember any... the feeling, probably because I've passed babies in pram's like you lucky little shit. I'm out here getting soaked, 
You got her there staying dry. Well, what age was you in a pram to? Because I was, I was like nine. Oh, well, I don't know, fine. I just remember anyway, it was really comfy. What's the next step you're going to do, Lee? I'm going to turn my bread over. See, it's all buttered up there, guys. And by the way, we're going to have a swear box from now on. I need to stop swearing, I've discovered that. You've only done the one side, I've done two of mine. You went to do two, I've got to turn it over first, haven't I? No, you butter the both sides. Oh no, I need to turn it over to butter it. Why are you putting it like that? Now you've got to do the both. I didn't want it all going on the body, would I? You've got no choice. Oh. Because you've got to do that. I know, I'm... What I'm saying is you, you're talking, but you're forgetting to do the other side of the I'm bread. not forgetting. I'm trying to keep people interested in our video by talking to them. Yeah, so, I mean, I need to stop swearing so much, guys, because I discovered this the other day. I was watching a video for another UK up by, and they got worried because they swore. I was like, oh my God, I dropped an F-bomb. I was like, I drop them all the time. Um, maybe I don't I'll... think it'd be good for us to stop swearing, now. <laughs> you don't really do it. Because I'm conscious of the younger people that are on yeah. the channel. I don't like it, oh. like, you know. So we're going to have a swear box where if I swear, I'm going to have to pay a pound. Hell no, mate. You swear. That's up to you, love. <laughs> so, <'cause> it's done. <laughs> it's off my table now. Good you news is, me, uh, me dad and my granddad are both out of hospital. For anyone who was asking after him last week, both are home and well. I say well, my granddad's not very happy. But he's home at least, that's the main thing. What's the point in that? Because you've got to fill the middle now, I know mate. that. I'm really a tea top. Right, first of all, oh, just stop being difficult. Why am I being difficult? Can I have okay, some pastrami, please? Or you keep them back? Behind you. Oh, it's hiding. So, mustard. We've got two packs of pastrami here, guys. Doo -doo. Not one, but two. Package. I don't even know what it smells like. If I open it, it smells Quite really strong. like... Ooh. I'm going to be a bit scared. So I put mustard on mine. Well, you don't know it here because you've never made one. I've made a grilled cheese before, but like when they have it, they have all like mustard and stuff in their deli. So there we go. I want to put it in mine. Ooh, it, it looks nice. Like. It looks like a crumbed pastrami. Like crumb around the edges looks a bit crumbed with something. Let's give it, let's give it a whiff. You do, you I can't really packs. smell what that's a bit, yeah, we're opening both. Oh, it's going to be nice and thick. Look at that. So in here we get one, two, three, four, five, six, ten slices, that's guys. Mm, that's good. So, mm. I'm not a big cooked meat fan, cold meat well, fan. Well, let's try that a little bit. I'm going to. No. I'm going to have to hold this sandwich of this mm. stuff. That's lovely. That's beef slices cured. No, I ain't bad, you know. I have. I'll go out, eh? I'm going pass the cheese. Yes, so I'll pass everything. I'm doing that. Do you want ham on yours, Sam? No, I hate ham, eh? Do it. So. This stuff's really tasty. You've got to put cheese so. on first, Lee, so it melts. For God's sake, it's all going wrong. It's okay. Barney, off, please. My dog's hanging around now because he wants some bloody meat. You get some in a bit, Barn. And then you build it on top of that. Yeah, well, we've got enough slices. There's 10 slices, so I'm going to put four. I'll put, oh. Hang on, two, four, two, four. Okay, we'll do it that way. To so put Should two I... on. No, we can, there's not going to be enough if you don't do these. Put two on the yours. Yeah, I'm going to do. I'm building my. But you've got to have two on the top, is what right, I'm saying. Put two on that one there. Would well, you do it at the end, like then there, and then you put the bread? Well, on if you top. put it there, I'll just slop it down on there, won't I? Oh, right, eh? It's not confusing, no. I just... know. I'm just saying. Well, I'll do my own way on that. That's it. That's all we need to do. So, anywho. Any whoosies. Do you remember a blow kind? Um. When we were kids, we weren't when we were kids. It was about a, year, a few years ago, guys. A lot of you might have known and heard about him. Basically, he was like called the young Arnold Schwarzenegger. Nope. Um, you, you watched the documentary on him, got him. He was this black lad. He was like five years old, and he had like more abs than I could even wish to have in a lifetime. He had abs. He had pecs. He had the lot. And he was Ukrainian. His name was Richard. No, 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 no. Richard something, anyways. And he was built like a brick. See, I didn't swear that's all. And he was only like five, six or seven. His dad used to do like seven hour workouts a day, like every day. His kid could do the splits. He could he could lift bloody boulders. He was huge. He was only like eight years old. And everyone was like, he's going to be like the next big bodybuilder sort of thing. And the next young Hercules, they called him. How thick do you want this thing to I'll be? Make it, I mean, it's meant to be as thick as you can make it. Oh, bloody hell. That'll do. I'm not doing thicker than that. Will you not put the full pack of thing on? Ham! Pastrami? Oh, yeah, but... It's meant to be proper thick, I'm. 
Anyway, I'm pointing this guy's this lad, he was like huge. Go and check him out, Richard the Ukrainian, young Hercules. And he was like, they interviewed him recently, they said, one of them things on your Sky Sports, it said click here to see what this person looks like now. He'll be surprised. I clicked like, wow, he's lost all the muscle. He can't do with his chin up now. I don't know why I'm laughing, I can't do half a chin up. Um, he's like, yep, I've lost interest. I find it so boring now to bodybuild. I'm like, mate, you did it every day of your life for like 10 years. How can you be bored all of a sudden? Imagine just getting bored of mukbangs. Everyone would be lost. All right. Don't you agree? I'm done. You should not agree. Getting conversation like that when trying to do something is impossible. Look at the size difference in that aim. Did I put some ham on? Look, let's, let's lift this up. So you get a it's, good it's, arm. It's, it's, what's it there? you got butter on it. <laughs> I put a ham on mate. Oh my God. Anyone just tuning in now is probably thinking that that bigger one's mine over here. No, but that's the way they're looking at it, isn't it? Right then, let's get the grill over here. We're back by popular demand, guys. So we have one of these pans. Wow, well, where's that thing go? Spatula. No, oh, you're keeping your upper strong, isn't it? Okay. Right, we're going to get aims up and on the pan, guys. I don't Should think... we spray it with anything? Well, we've got the fry on. It's going to go... Psst. Gordon Ramsay, eat your heart out. So it might take us a while. <laughs> Unfortunately, my idea. Hey guys, so we have achieved what we set out to do originally, but we couldn't do it on the grill because it wasn't hot enough. So I'm sorting out the brightness, guys. I think we've done better than what we expected to do. Yeah. So if you can see, I don't want to pick it up. Don't drop it. Yeah. We're so there we go. Grilled cheese is slightly thinner. What you done? You'll see once we cut it, guys. Um, the middle. It's got Go for, don't have to pause it. I'm not pausing it. Okay, so here, we go. here goes nothing. I hope it's as good as it looks, guys, because it looks fun, dabby does it? Yeah, it does. I've had grilled cheese before. Give this a yellow. Oh dear. Oh dear, what? Well. Yours hasn't melted. It'll have to do, I ain't messing about. Still nice cheese and ham. Yeah, it looks really shit. We need to melt that. That looks yeah. terrible. Bit of a disaster there, guys. We might have a bit of a cheese pull on mine. Don't despair. We haven't had a mare. Managed to fix it. New William Blake. New William, who the fuck's he wins it? All right. I'm a poet. I didn't know it. Okay. Hey, Marjorie, do you want to cut yours? You can. Oh, I can. I'll get the two little job on both. Let's see. I think Ames is going to be a proper cheesy one, guys. Filled with worlds of meat. Because, let's be honest, I didn't have the ham. So... We've got a bit Shit, of a, a brick, eh? We've got a bit of a cheese pull. Oh, no. F bomb's gone again. Oh, a little bit. There we you go. You don't mind, I've got the cheese pull. The fact of the matter is, look at that for a sandwich. That is a bit like what you see in America. Only a little bit. <laughs> it's a disaster, guys, but hell, we're not experts. Let's clop that off there. That's a bit of your bread. Great. We don't well, want to waste. The waste not want not in this house. I'll show your aims up like there we go, look at there. This is pastrami and ham aims, mine's just pastrami and cheese. Apologies for the uh let's be honest, not getting a job in a deli, are we in New York anytime soon? <laughs> got a bowl nice. of gravy here for mine. And aim has I've got some. What what are you having? You're, you're having your beetroot. Thousand Island uh dressing. Dressing. Well, I wanna show him this blog I was on about because it done me in that she couldn't remember. Come on. I know the little boy. A little boy who's not a little boy no more. Young. I have the slowest phone in the world, guys. Hercules. Let's try this anyway. Let's see what all the fuss is about in America. Oh, I weird bit of cheese pull on mine, guys. I'm going to have to put my beetroot in the bloody lid. Jar gravy. Beetroot. A ball gravy, right? Okay, we're a bit far away, guys. I need to pull you a bit close because this could be an accident waiting to happen. Yeah. We'll Not for me, in. anyway. We'll zoom in slightly so you can still get an idea of what's going on. I was going to ask you if you can put my beach. Whoa, mm. that's not that cheese. Mm. You missed out all these years, you have. We well, yeah, have, wouldn't have, wouldn't have. No, cheese. 
Yeah, I've got some of this as well, guys, to go mm. with it. So this bloke's gone a wall. Can't find him. That is real nice. Oh. But if you're in America, um, which some of you are, and you've never tried a gravy and pastrami sandwich, I recommend it. Let's try this thing. It's such a simple video, guys. Everything's going wrong. Oh my! It is good, isn't it? <laughs> mm. off, we have to watch um, that cheese. Diners, drive-ins and dives, guys. Oh, no, I'm off. See on, ya. On the Food Network. And we're like, wow, look at their sandwiches. Mm. And this is like an idea what it must be like. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh, my so, we know, we know. Forget your chicken dinner. No, no, no. That's why I'm not going to talk. Mm. Yeah. Honestly, that is easy and nine and a half out of ten for me. I'm not massive on sandwiches, so normally I have a, a tuna sandwich. Hey, do you want to have something? Here we go. Oh, we need a thumbnail. Shit, a brick. Oh, another F bomb. This is the first time me and Lee have ever had the same sandwich. Yeah, well, right. and again, you've all easily messed it up again, haven't you? Because you had extra stuff. Do that. Just a smile for it. You're going to have to accept it as it is, guys, and hope it looks good. Now, I want you to try some of that. That is oh, amazing. to ruin my sandwich every time. Thousand Island sauce, guys. Oh, it's beautiful. God, I don't want to ruin this nice sandwich now. Mmm. That that is a combination, amazing. Not not for me, no. Mm. No, mm. Gri yeah, try to grab it. Go on. Oh, I just ruined a bit of my that sandwich. That is there. amazing. It's better with gravy, in my opinion, anyways. No. Oh, more for me. Oh my god. How much that? Oh. Hmm. Have you had I want to get a tea? picture with the with the gravy. So I'm gonna, sorry. I only got a mouthful of food. That'll do. Yeah, it was good with all gravy in there. Mm. Have you ever had what? Sorry. Pussy. This is me. I'm. You know chips, what I've eaten in my life. Gravy and cheese curds. Oh, actually, I've done myself. I've heard of it. Chips, cheese, cheese and gravy. That does sound alright. But no, I've never gravy. tried it. Mm. This is uh, probably the best sandwich I've ever had, guys. And honest, in terms of like things I've never tried before. Really good. Mm. So nice. So, bit of beetroot. So I've got to ruin it every time. Mm. So, anyways, guys, I was on about um before about when we were kids and stuff. And oh, had... Can I just jump? I want to see their YouTube channel. Who's the one who? Oh, it's a website they've got. How did you find out about that? I you... typed in how to make a pastrami. Sandwich. And then they've got like loads of recipes. Well, basically, it's this lady who has, I don't know the website name, guys, so I literally clicked on it <laughs> and I can't even give them a shout out right now. Uh, other than, no, it's on this file. Um, they're a lovely couple, I'm guessing. Never seen them, never spoke to them, never met them, but they know how to make food. That's what I mean, I want yeah. to see, because I'm willing. It's like a food blog, and she said mm. on this page, on the, the one this was released, I said, so and so, if I, if I, like, if I just told me something, what his, his own. Um, was talking about having his own section on the chat on the website and suggested getting another ch a website and then she's like well they've got two food blogs do we in the same household noisy kids but is it like you can see them on a video yeah, yeah, i don't know it's just a thing I mean, it's a recipe channel and he said he used to work in this uh, deli place in new york somewhere when he was a teenager and made a sandwich for a customer one day and he made it wrong and it come out he'd made this instead of pastrami mm. sandwich when the customer wanted something else he said so rather than waste it I ate it, he did, I didn't, I wasn't in New York at the time, that was a couple of years later, and he said it was like the best sandwich ever, he said that started off his fascination with sandwiches, uh, with pastrami sandwiches, and every, so now she's given his, his own section which is just going to be sandwiches. I think we should do a few of their recipes. No. Because if, if that's a sandwich and it's good, can you imagine what other food they make? That's a food blog, isn't it, so I guess it's going to be good stuff. I'm a bit stupid, guys. I didn't know whether a blog you was like oh. watching a video. That's a vlog. Well, there might it? be videos on there, but I don't have a chance to talk that far. I just got the recipe. That's and a good YouTube channel. I think you might use your channel on that. I'm 
If I can't understand what you just said, how are they meant to understand your love? I said, I should make a YouTube channel on that on alone. On that alone. Just on one sandwich. Yeah. But what's going on? This is just how they have it every day in America, a pastrami sandwich. Yeah, but that is just really nice, isn't it? But he said, like, rather than do it some other way, I can't remember how he said now, he said he found his way was to wrap it in foil. Pop it in your oven for 10 minutes, so your cheese melts and your bread goes soft. But we ain't got 10 minutes to spare, have we? Because we're busy mukbangers. So, we we'll just get through it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Since we come back from uh, mid mums over the weekend, um, I had a couple of days of eating all right. I was eating really healthy. I'll tell you something. I mean this. What? what I don't know mean? how this happened. We ate, we ate reasonably healthy this week, haven't we? Not bad. Yeah, I've eaten really healthy this week. I've lost like six pounds. I went That's pretty good, girl. I was like, it's got to be all the bloody walking. Yeah, we did. we did a lot of walking and we just didn't... We ate shit over the weekend, as you've all seen. But another... Oh, my God, this is terrible. We ate bad food over the weekend. Forget that. We'll cut that bit out. It's gone out of your memory. Hmm. But since we've come back, we've eaten about three days of fruit, salads, meats. Cutting down on a lot of the bad stuff. I had no chocolate till yesterday. Well, then I get the munchies. And when I start... Yeah, it, 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 <laughs> we went to Asda yesterday... No word of a lie. He, didn't, he got out of the shop, he starts eating. <laughs> what's he eating? Chocolate. Then he has another chocolate. Then another, and then he was in the taxi. He went for something else. I went, Lee, put the food down. I knew we were going to eat for a while. Once we got home, I was like, I need food. I've been eating healthy all week. Well, why didn't you open a bag of apples then? Instead, oh. he was there like, right. I only like apples when I've got a knife to slice. I like a slice of apple. I don't like a bite of an apple, if you understand what I mean. I bought some really nice oranges. Yeah, yeah. Tears are the like boulders. Oh, extra special something or other from that. Yeah. A little nice. But we're putting like a vlog together, guys. I like over a few days and just a little bit We're going to try day. and do this a little bit more often. Yeah, but we're going on the other channel, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'll stick it up there. Let me see. Look at that, guys. Uh, yeah, we've got another channel, The Munchies Delights. It's just like our Asda treat, bits and pieces, getting ready for this vlog, for this mukbang. Uh, our friends coming around tonight, possibly tomorrow. And little bits here and there over the next few days. I'm going to put it all together and put it on the other channel. But I was there, I was like, come on, I was like, oh, God, I'm so hungry, I've been eating healthy all week. Then you take around, but he has to all the chocolates and all the cakes and all the crappy food. I want food. Yeah, but you really went for it in the, in the yeah. taxi. And the taxi driver was like helping us with the bags. I was like, mate, I'll sit that bag. It was the bag of all the goodies in. I said, I'll put it on the back seat. It's all right, mate. <laughs> and I'm sitting there. He threw, he threw this bag. I was like, Lee, just, just we're only around the corner. Just leave it. I know, but what my point was, I've been eating well. And we was got this WhatsApp group for a few of the people coming to meet us in Birmingham in September. And I po was posting our food down there the other night. And I had a really healthy supper. I had like wholemeal pita breads with tuna salad in there. And tuna on the side and fruit and the yogurt. I was like, oh, that looks great. One of our subs, all right, Mal, totally honest. He says, oh isn't that a bit too healthy for a mukbanger to be eating for the supper? I was like, mate, I've got to look after my belly when I'm not, when we're um, not doing the mukbangs. Mine was really nice the other night. Mm. I love salad potatoes, I do. Everybody was amazed how much raw run you look like, apart from our Lydia. Yeah. Well, everyone was like, well, I am. I can't stand what she has onion. Oh, no. But I right. thought I thought it was a normal thing, but obviously I'm not the only one who thinks it's a bit unnormal. A lot of people said, "What the hell are you doing now?" Yeah, raw onion. I just thought it was a, an everyday occurrence, like people have raw onion all the time. I think they do. Mm, I don't know. We don't do many cook, cooking videos, do we, guys? But this one we've done, obviously. And I strongly recommend if you just follow one of our. It's not really a recipe, is it? And we've borrowed it from somebody else. It's so simple. Bread, butter, mustard if you want to, and any other uh, dressing. Stick your cheese and stick your meat in. Whack it on a griddle or even in the oven in foil. Bish, bash, bosh, you're done. It is amazing. I want to make out here one of these. I'm going to have to bake some more pastrami. Because she'll really disappoint for us. She said, I said, team at Union and a sausage sandwich or whatever. She said, why? I said, oh, me and your mum are having a sandwich in it. She said, what sandwich? I said, a oh, pastrami sandwich. Said, oh, okay. Aww. I don't even know if she knew what one is, but I think she liked the sound of it. It is filling. Hey, don't you dare. This is first meal of the day. You're not leaving that food. You've had to sit here till four o'clock. I just need a minute. Odd. Mm. Um. Right, Phil. 
Hey everyone, but you want to start collecting again? Oh, <laughs> okay. So when I was a little girl, I mean, I don't know about you in uh, across the pond or anywhere else, but here in the UK, I was born in 1995, and round about, oh, what I want to say, about eight, maybe seven, eight, so about what year would that have been? Uh, 92, 93. Yeah, so round about that kind of, in and out of a year or two, there was like these trolls. Not YouTube trolls. No, like, you know, like trolls, everybody used to collect trolls. Mm. Like the film. But they used to have like troll rubbers and moomins. Anyone remember the moomins? Well, anyway, I used to collect stationery and it was like yikes, pencils and pens. I am, I'm like my mum, she's got a bit of a stationery problem. She was like, she owned her own business and everything. She used to have loads of stationery. I love pens, pencils, rubbers, pencil cases. Anything like that, I love. And I, I just said to Lee, I said, I've got that many clothes. I mean, you guys don't see my my whole wardrobe. I tend to wear like things that I don't care if you're going to get messed up. Well, she's only to have one, you know. Tops. I've got two huge double wardrobes full of clothes and things I've no. I can pick a top eight sometimes that I've got the label on because I just do that. Are you I don't want to knock this jar of beetroot off here. Lee, that is going to dye the board. Oh, buddy balls. Will you stop swearing? You, look, balls what, ain't swearing, I ain't like footballs. Rugby look, balls, tennis that balls, golf balls. That's going to die that now. It won't. So anyway, I want to collect stationery again. I want to collect pencils, cases. I want yeah. to collect all that kind of stuff. Mm, you but, can yeah. do. I thought, okay. Get so, oh yeah, sat finished that. Like, I've finished with, like, I'm done with the clothes. I'm done with the shoes, yeah. the bags. I mean, I've got... Stupid man, it's just ridiculous. So now the three or four hundred pound clothes shop she used to do. So, I figured she wants seven hundred pound clothes shops. She said to me, "Well, I want to start getting some stuff." I said, All right, whatever. I'm gonna go and get you some. Let's go down B and M's or something during the week. No, 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 no. I'm thinking like two hundred pound on stationery. I'm like, all right then. Shut the back door. What the hell are you on about? Love? Used to be shut the front door. I used to shut the back door. Shut any door. Any door that gets there away from me. You know, two hundred pound stationery trip. No. Oh. People spend money on their hobbies. Not on pencils, they don't. They might do. Well, we did for you at Christmas a couple of years ago. I bought you a lot of proper artist pencils and sketchbooks and stuff. Because you love for drawing, don't you? I like sketching. Mm, do you, like, I used to do a lot of drawing in the past for a profession. Well, it was more virtual on the computer. Now you do it for like, you know, a bit of fun and stuff. Like hobby like... But I'm a collector. I was anyway. I didn't realise that. At the time, you don't know how much of a collector maniac you am. So I was mad on DVDs for years. I mean, I had like a good two, three thousand DVDs, guys. I just kept buying them. And if you ask me, I only ever had a watch. Not half of them. Books, I'd buy a book for a second. Oh, a new book. Do I need it? No. Let's go to the church. I'll buy it. Let's get all books. I didn't read half of them. Like, seriously? You seriously? I've about 400 books in that cupboard. I've never read. It's just space unnecessary. Like, with my clothes, I'm... I've, I've, I'm going to have a sort through. I say this all the bloody time, mine. Mm, but what do you guys collect that you might think other people might think is a bit sort of odd, maybe? Not in a bad way, but like, you tell me you collect like milk bottle lids. I bet it's a bit different, but fair play to you. So, what is the one thing you collect, guys, without, you know, maybe even knowing it? Or maybe you do know, you don't want other people to know. Tell us here, it's secret. <laughs> Only 1,700 people will see it. Um, oh. I used to love as well when I was a little girl. Like glittery stickers. That's like you know, like butterflies with glitter in them. And I love like you just got grab your love oh, you Hmm. Not pads. Yeah, I was big on that. So I mean, I was, that's what we were talking about this one because I said at Christmas, as much as my presents I like, I like getting good pencil cases. Like Pepsi Max ones I used to get us and stuff mm. in the shape of a can. Do you remember Polly Pocket? I used to get My friends had them when I was a boy. Then my girl mates who I went round the house like, what are these little things like Polly Pocket? <laughs> oh, you got any army? There's the army figures. I can't imagine you being that type of chap. What, an army man? Yeah. I, I was like Arnold Schwarzenegger 2.0 as a child. I tried to kill my mum and dad. I could imagine you do the whole... <laughs> yeah, you run around the school playground playing... It was either racing... You know, I knew nothing about F1. I... And you literally run as fast as you could 
And you'd be like, yeah, I won, I must do Lewis Hamilton. Oh, it was Army. Brrr, you're dead, I shot you. Brrr, get down, I bloody shot you, idiot. No, no, you didn't. No, I fucking just shot you. No, they don't like it, though, do they? They wouldn't die when I shot them. I remember playing, like, marriages and houses. Oh, well. mums and dads. What the hell is that all about? <laughs> I'll be the mum, you be the dad. These younger kids on our street will be the little babies. There's, like, a year younger than us. What the hell are we doing having kids at one? <laughs> Stupidness. You mentioned the trolls, though. I had troll dolls. A couple of big ones. Yeah, I had some that were like that. Mm-hmm. And others. And... Got them when I went on a British Airways flight. I think it was Airways, one of them. And my dad, mum and dad bought me on the flight. Now, if Tia goes abroad and asks us for a buddy troll on a plane... Love, get a bank loan. Because toys on planes are not cheap, guys. I don't want my mum and dad to play that. I don't understand why people want to buy aeroplanes off an aeroplane. Oh, I had one off my dad when he went to Tunisia. He brought me one back. Well, I'd never... I'd been on one at two, but this was like seven. I didn't know what the hell a plane was. I would never spend that kind of money. Did you enjoy it? Did I enjoy it? Did you enjoy it? Yes, I was. I'm going to take a little bit of this meat out at the end of here for Barney. Because he's not in the poor son. Mm. I think you thought that there was a few people coming round with your gravy. No, it won't go to waste. I'll use it for the pizza afterwards. Oh, you know, so we might have to do that. I can't eat a pizza as well. Look, I might be the bigger one out of two of us, Lee, but Jesus wept. Hey, you know if we'd done this when I said at half eleven rather than ten past one? Lee, I couldn't have had a full sandwich at half eleven in the morning. Like that. Uh. I can eat a proper breakfast sandwich, I know, but cheese and... And what? Meat? Ham and... Oh. It's a lot of bread. And pictures of bread. Guys, I need a new co-house when I can't handle it. <laughs> if that's something you could eat a lot of food, like right now. So like, if you can eat a lot of food, a pie in the box below. Or oh, dinner time today, you could come around and help me. Do a mukbang. For the time as a kip. That is beautiful. Okay. Back again. Swore again. Another F-bomb. That's ten quid for mine for my swearing. Uh, so I like, reckon, guys, that every swear word he says should go to my stationary allowance. I reckon every uh, drink Aim takes during a video, because she has like two glasses, should go towards my paying for her stationery. You know, no word of a lie, guys. My mum and his mum are the same. They don't drink whilst they have the dinner. Well, my mum has it there, but they don't. They have tea and coffee sometimes with them. But like I was saying, Aim said it was a nine and a half, and now she has, I couldn't even eat anymore. But like I said, do you really think I'm that big and I could eat another Wait, one today? I love a chicken dinner, but you wouldn't have it simultaneously. I didn't want one today. I'm done for today. Until the next girl to Iceland gets some more pastrami. That's when I'll next make another one. A couple of weeks' time. Oh. It's dead good though, guys. Really and enjoying. honestly, if you if you want to be filled up, try it my way at the ham. I'm, I'm pretty filled up right now, kid. And I did not have I'm ham. I'm older than you, kid. All right then. Boss. Mother. Uh, yeah. Alright, oh, right, OAP. <laughs> then what's that make you love? Uh, uh, a, a granny lover. I ain't a granny, you ah, idiot. Ah, you could see as old enough that you could be. <laughs> anyway, guys, we've got to go because we've, we've got to get our pizzas on the go. Granddad who acts like he's Dennis the Menace with his bloody hat backwards at 30. Well, he's either that or show the shit haircut you give me. Ah! God damn it, well, I've got a knife, I'm not afraid to use it. What shit haircut? Oh, God. The last time you, and give me back my hat. No. Nah. I'll, I'll cut it off then. Stop the hair. Give me a little bloody redonkulous. <sighs> ah, oh, shit. Oh, no, Wait, it's not I'm funny, gonna... is it? Don't punch <laughs> me. Barney, kill. Oh, you just stabbed me in the eye, Lee. Eh? In the eye. Oh, shit. Oh, God. We better say goodbye now, eh? <laughs> oh. I'll bat you with Beatrice. It's out. That was on me, Lee, mate. You'll have the gravy Ooh. on your head. Right, guys, thank you for watching. This was not staged, <sighs> as some people on you mukbangs do. This was actually real. I didn't want to show my sh- rubbish hair, and I didn't want to get caught in the eye of a hat. It's real. This is real life, real situations. Say so goodbye, Aim. Oh, God. Perhaps I've eaten. You jabbed me in my... F- <laughs> Aim, I didn't. You hurt your fist punching my rib, didn't you? No. <laughs> you, you got me with your elbow first, and then oh. that's why I did it again. <laughs> I suggest you pack it in, love. <laughs> Say goodbye, or I'll make you a pizza. Uh, something else as well. I seriously do recommend this, guys. Uh, it's not the one from Asda, but it's oh, I didn't so like it. good. If you like seafood tasting it sauces. It um, there is. There's an old dressing with Dijon mustard, gherkins, and tomato paste. That's what it's made with? And you give me some you of got that? White wine <laughs> vinegar, gherkins. Yeah, 
onion puree, salt, tamarind paste, garlic puree, gingerbread peppers, and so on and so forth. But it's really, really good. Oh, you like and that? Brandon told me to try this. And I tried it with him last night when we were talking on WhatsApp. But seriously, Lee, Lee said it the day before because it was going to go with our sandwich. No, it's another sandwich I've got um, want us to make. It is. And this is one, and look, we'll try some maybe next time. It's another American thing, it's called a Reuben sandwich, which is made with well, corned beef. I'll try this then, with this. I don't like that, I've got to be honest. I'll probably do, just dip mine in gravy again. No. I really don't like that, I'll probably do everything else apart from that stuff. Not what ruining a sandwich. No, you could tr- if you try it all together, you might actually enjoy it. I might it. actually just ruin a good sandwich there. Either way, Brandon, thank you very much for that. And also, Brandon's sending a package to AIM. Can I wait to see what's in there? Well. And to me, thank you, Brandon. We'll be doing a video, hopefully, on that one. And a special shout-out to Brandon. And now, without further ado-do, oh. we've got to go, because I've got to go to the hospital. <laughs> and I've got to clear well, up. You put, you bloody acted me on. And then I stopped you from punching me in the side with my elbow. you got nails, Hayley. Hey, you got hair on your toes. Do you get your big hairy toes out? Lee, I showed evidence last night about your toes. We've got to go, Aim. Come on, man. Guys, love you and leave you. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, did comment Did you below. enjoy our sandwich, guys? Check out the description box. We did. Anyway, remember to be kind, remember to be nice, comment, share, like, and subscribe, and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you can get our future videos and you don't miss out on the community tab. Exactamundo. Thank Check you, guys. Check out Instagram. Yeah, we're on Instagram most days. We need to get back on there big time, but I'm never on there. It's usually me. Either way, thank you for watching, munchies. Stay munching. Laters. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.